Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan, and over the summer, we built a yurt on our piece of land in the Hood Canal. As we are getting farther and farther into the colder months, we need to properly heat our yurt, so in this episode, you'll see us install our pellet stove. This process is a little tricky because it involves cutting a hole in the side of your yurt, which is a little frightening and even more so when you're in a super rainy part of the country like us. As you can see, it's a little bit rainy here. It is the, we're part of the Olympic National Rainforest. However, Ryan has assured me that we have all the materials needed to complete this project. Just this section of pipe costs $250. Along with the installation of our pellet stove, we have contractors finishing the dig out of the foundation of our cabin we'll be building in late spring. They also help us take down a tree that's threatening our shed. Follow along with us in this episode and be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It's the easiest way to support us on our journey. All right, we are back in the yurt. Um, we had a quick break to go out and chat with Craig and uh, Achilleo from Five Guys Excavating. They are done for the day and they'll be headed back tomorrow. So we are finishing up Manuel. We've got him in his home and now we've got to put stove piping up there. Ryan has a jigsaw and we're gonna cut out an X from the lattice. And you have to make sure you've got the right clearance around everything and all that good stuff, which we have done. So we think we're confident we can get this done this evening. So it's a little bit warmer in the yurt tonight. It's been cut out, but somebody didn't turn on the camera so you could see it happen. But there it is. We used a jigsaw. It worked really well. You guys, I was standing even, I was like, okay, stand so you're not blocking the camera. Anyway, it's out. Now we're gonna put, um, we have a piece that came from Pacific Yurts. So we'll match that all up to draw a circle of where the piping is actually gonna go. I'm gonna turn on the camera for those steps. You ready for me to trace it? We cut a circle based on the flashing that Pacific Yurts gave us, and now we have to cut a two, we have to trace a two inch circle around that circle because you need two inches of any combustible material away from that, which would be the insulation and the canvas. So we're gonna do that now, and then we'll start cutting and then putting together. What? Correction. We only need to do one inch because we have super pipe. Do you know why that is super pipe? Because the directions are for wood stoves. And this is and a wood, pellet stove. Wood stoves use... They burn hotter? Maybe. And this is forced ventilation. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that's what the people want to know. I mean, this... Hey, hey man, is that... Just this section of pipe costs $250. Hey, man, is that the super pipe? <laughs> Heck yeah, it's super pipe. So he's using some fancy tin snips. We never have scissors on hand, but we always, we have about five pairs of tin snips. So they work for most things we found out.
Ryan is on the outside and there's an outside flashing piece and I am supposed to be in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point yet, but we have that all screwed on. So now we just need to screw on the outside piece and then we can put the stove pipe through that. Scratch that. It's getting dark outside. It's getting close to dinner time, so, and call it a night. So we come back at this with some fresh eyes and a clear head and a wet heart, Ryan? Open. Open heart. <laughs> all right, till tomorrow, guys. We woke up this morning and it was not raining, but then really it started now. pouring raining. I don't know if the microphone's picking it up on the awning above us or anything, but some of the people from Five Guys Excavation are here. Right behind us. And they are continuing. They should finish digging out the foundation today. And they have a tree to fall. And then uh, we're gonna finish installing Manuel into the yurt. So we got part of that done last night and then it just got kind of late and dark and we decided to call it. And now it's like, oh my gosh, I wish we would have made it happen because this rain is gonna so be hard bad. because what we have to do is on the outside of the yurt. Yeah, so. So, but, so you can see we're all geared up in our rain gear and we're just gonna get it done. Yeah, gonna make it happen today. We also have to do some of our real work today and the kids have school and all that fun stuff. All so we're gonna stuff. fit it all in, but all in all, things are going good. Like yesterday, they got so much done. It was so fun to watch all of it and like so exciting to like, it's happening. Yeah. Like if it doesn't happen at this point, we're just gonna have a giant hole in our <laughs> land. So we should probably go through with it and build the cabin. Yeah, and we've we're also kinda... given them all of like so much of our money. And the, and the, and the <laughs> cabin people too. So yeah, yeah we're kind of past the point of no return. So yeah. we're going for it. Yeah, so it's like, it's go time. And even with Manuel, gotta finish him because we can't leave the yurt with we a big hole cut in Cut a it. hole in our yurt. <laughs> but yesterday everything went really smooth, I felt like. We were, yeah. it was just a fun day to watch them. And even moving Manuel went super smooth. And the only thing that didn't work is we tried to burn a burn pile and everything's too wet. Yeah, and so we, now it's even wetter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. All right, let's do let's it. Do it. Okay. All right, we are in the yurt, and Ryan is going to. This is actually this big square piece he has is the. It's a rectangle, but anyway, it's going to go on the outside of the yurt, but we need to pre-drill it and you can't see the lattice from the outside. And we were like, this is going to be really complicated. And then Ryan, who always problem solves these things, was like, let's just mark it from the inside and then it should be all good on the outside. I think as long as we like put it backwards, which he's doing. So there we go. Um, so anyway, trying to make the best of a crummy weather day and just make this happen and get a project done while we're up here. Just screwed in that he we pre-drilled everything so you won't crack the lattice and and just like it's just really hard to get through the metal but then now he's putting in a little bit of silicone around each screw because as you can see it's a little bit rainy here it is the we're part of the Olympic National Rainforest so we have to take precautions and anyway I you can't really see it there he is doing his thing We're back in the yurt. Ryan is doing the stove pipe. He's putting some sealant on that. And so you put the sealant on and then you put all the pieces together and then that has to dry for 90 minutes and then it even 
heat cures, it has to be heated up for at 200 degrees for another 90 minutes, and then it's all super sealed up and ready to work. So, anything else you needed to add? That'll seal it, but then if we need to take it apart, it won't be like impossible. The tree? The tree right now. Next, we heard from Tim that they were ready to fall the tree by our shed. We knew we wanted to see this happen, so we made our way outside. We were so thankful to have someone with a little more knowledge than us fall this tree because the way it was leaning could have caused some serious damage. <laughs> The time has come. We've let the glue sit on for over 90 minutes because we stopped and had a lunch break. And the guys finished falling a tree for us and they finished the excavation of our house site and all that stuff. So we got them sent on their way and had our lunch. And now it is time. Ryan's putting a little bit of tape onto Manuel's stovepipe. Even Lindy's excited because she has been cold. And let's see. What happens? Ready a light on fire. Now he excited. No. Are you excited to see Manuel? I'm so excited. We have six inches of clearance on the left, right, and front. I think we do. Plug it in. that going. Well, we're having issues lighting the pellets. And then Ryan like flipped a switch and it there was like a flashing light or something. So we had to get out the manual for Manuel. Manuel is working. He's on. His little auger light came on saying, I'm dropping pellets into the fire. And Ryan is lighting the fire. Is it lit? Are going to we got some silicone 
at the store that we're going to put on all of the um, the seams. So we're gonna put it on all of those. We did some research and some other people had similar problems and that's what they did. And then we have some a spot where we wanna put it just so we don't have airflow coming in this evening. Then that needs to cure for 24 hours. So we should be able to check it. It won't quite be 24 hours before we leave tomorrow, but we should be able to check it tomorrow, make sure it works. And hopefully it does, and we have finished the project of Manuel, our pellet stove. Why are there holes? It's where they're gonna put the deck post. Don't scare them away. Yeah, let them just lay here. Because then maybe they'll come back. It's weird that they just choose to lay in the rain. Yeah. All right, let's leave them be. Bye, dearies. <laughs> what you got to do?